kitchen. Today I'm going to make a really nice side dish. Um, it is French onion mashed potato bake. Okay, so I have a pot full of yellow potatoes because I prefer Yukon gold or yellow. Those are going to be for the mashed potatoes. And I have a big mess, like I'm talking a couple bags of onions. And I have my Dutch oven. So we are going to start with cutting the onions. All right, I'm going to cut them slim in like a moon shape. Okay, we're going to get those all done and we're going to throw them into the Dutch oven with some butter and we're going to start uh, sauteing them. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so in my Dutch oven I have about five tablespoons of butter and I have all of my onions cut up. There we go. And I'm just going to start putting it in. Silly, I'll put that down. Pot should be pretty darn full. Yeah. There we go. And then we're just going to saute these. And it's going to take quite a while if you want them done really nicely. We want to caramelize them, okay? So we're going to get busy doing that. Okay, we're about a half hour in, and they have shrunk down half the size. But we still have a long ways to go. All right, so we're going to be doing this until it's a, a nice brown caramelized color. It's going to take from start to finish about an hour and a half to two and a half hours. Okay, we'll just keep an eye on it. All right, we're about an hour in. It's starting to brown up and it's time to turn the potatoes on. Okay, so they've been cooking down for about two hours. It's amazing how the onions just disappear. So we're going to throw in some flour. Give that a stir. Just gonna thicken it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna throw in a pinch of rosemary. I love rosemary. It doesn't get used enough, I think. We're gonna add some pepper. There we go. Mix that up. And we're going to use some Worcestershire. See, I tried to remember to do that. We're going to put a tablespoon, okay? Mix that in. It smells divine. Okay, and then we're going to add some beef broth. There we go. About a half a cup so far. You know what? I think you could put the whole cup in. All right, one cup of beef broth. There we go. And we're going to let that sit and simmer, and the potatoes are almost done, and I'll make my potatoes when it's finished. Okay, the potatoes are done, so I'm going to make my mashed potatoes. Make them any way you want to make them. Um, so i got a stick of butter in here, and I'm going to also put in some sour cream we want lots of flavor. I'm going to grate a clove of garlic right into the potatoes. There we go. Perfect. Get that out. We're going to do some pepper. Do lots of pepper. I have some leftover chives in the uh, fridge, so I'm going to throw some of those in there too. There we go. And I got my handy dandy 50 year old masher. This was my mom's. It's my prized possession. I've said it before. You can hear my kids upstairs gaming. Hopefully they don't start swearing. And I'm just going to start mashing that up. And then we'll come back when it's all done. Right, so the mashed potatoes are done. I added a bit of salt to them. So I'm just going to go in and make grooves into the potatoes. There we go. Just because when I put the, the, onion, the onion stuff in, I want it to kind of seep through. There we go. Just like rows. There, see? And then we're going to start layering on the sautéed onions, the French onions. Mmm. Let's get that all in there. Get a little bit of grooving in there. There we go. See, just moving it around. 
Perfect. Smear it. Get it in there. Give it a few pokes. Because we want that flavor through the potato. And then the last part is that we're going to put cheese on top. Now I had, I thought I had mozzarella in the fridge, but my, my older son is a cheese hog. So I'm left with marble. It'll work. We'll just put that on. And then we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees. And then we'll come back after and take a look at it. Look at that. Doesn't that look hot? All right, let's throw this in the oven. There you go, it's all done. 20 minutes in the oven at 350, and then uh, the last few minutes I put it on broil. And I have a nice sirloin steak here, medium rare, because if you do anything more than that, you ruin it. <laughs> and then let's just take some out. There we go. Or just, let's take a good look at that. Okay. So that is your cheesy French onion mashed potatoes with your sirloin steak. Bon appetit.